In this video, we will look at configuring multi-NIC vMotion on a standard vSwitch in vSphere 5. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base article 2007467. Log in to the vSphere client and select the desired ESX host from the inventory panel. Click the configuration tab and click networking. Click on add networking and choose VM kernel as the connection type. Click next and add two or more NICs to the required standard switch. You can create a new vSphere standard switch or you can use an existing vSwitch. Name the VM kernel port group for example vMotion-01 and assign a VLAN ID as required. Click on the use this port group for vMotion and click next. Configure the IP address and subnet mask and click next. Click on the properties tab of the vSwitch, select the vMotion-01 port group and click edit. Click on the NIC teaming tab and under failover order select the override switch failover order. Configure one of the adapters, vmnic1 for example, as active and move the other adapter, say vmnic3, as standby and click OK. Under the vSwitch properties, click on add to create a second VM kernel port group. Provide a name and follow the same steps as before. On the properties tab of the vSwitch, select the vMotion-02 port group and click edit. Click on the NIC teaming tab and under failover order, check the override switch failover order. Configure the other adapter, for example vmnic3 as active and vmnic1 as standby. On the properties tab of the vSwitch, click on each vMotion port group to verify that the active and standby adapters are configured correctly. This concludes our look at configuring multi-NIC vMotion on a standard switch in vSphere 5. To find out how to configure multi-NIC vMotion on a distributed vSwitch, check out the second video which is available in VMware Knowledge Base article 2007467. Thank you for choosing VMware.